Hello makers, I'm Joe the 3D Maker Noob and I got this box from Gearbest today. Now, as you can see, I've opened the top and I took a sneak peek inside, but this is how it went. I received the box from DHL, I signed for it, I looked at the side and said, Anet, and I went, nah. but then I opened it up, I took off this piece of foam right here and I went, ooh. See, the reason why I went, ooh, is because this is Anet's new Delta 3D printer. Now you guys know I have a very, very special place in my heart for Delta 3D printers. And I am willing to give any Delta 3D printer a shot. And while I'm not too keen on Anet, I'm very curious as to how it will work because I can already see that it uses the same board as the A8, as the A6, as the E10 or the E whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna unbox this, I'm gonna put it together, I'm gonna run a few test prints and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. First off, this thing, heavy. This is not aluminum, this is, this is sheet metal, so very sturdy base. Some PLA, power cable, PTFE tube, extruder, spool holder. I'm hoping it's a spare hot end. It's not a spare hot end, but at least most of the effect around is actually assembled. So, ooh, aviation cable type connection. Heated bow plate, some printed parts, more printed parts, rubber feet, more printed parts. These are the carriages with bearings inside, which are also printed. Uh, print quality wise, not too shabby actually. Belts, USB cable, tools and micro SD card, linear rods, some tools. <laughs> what is this? I know it's a ruler, but <laughs> come on. <laughs> End stop switches and some acrylic parts and screws. Not too many screws or nuts and bolts. Everything in its own bag. And yep, that's it. Carbon fiber arms. Those are actually quite solid. So yeah, that's actually not a lot of parts to be completely honest. So I'm gonna throw in the SD card and I'm gonna assemble all this. And that's where it ends. Um, okay, so a couple of issues along the build. The second screw that I actually had to put in the kit, which is for the rubber feet, was actually soldered flat, so I couldn't put the Phillips screwdriver inside to actually tighten it. Another thing I noticed is that the instructions on the video uh, differ from this acrylic part right here, because these rods should go through the acrylic part. However, there are no holes drilled for these rods. Now, unfortunately, I cannot go any further along in this kit, even if I wanted to, because whoever machined the uh, aluminum plate for the effector forgot to actually prepare the holes where the screws are in for the effector arm. So there are only two screws that can actually go in. There are only two um, uh, threaded inserts. Everything else is just flat. So I cannot assemble that. Another thing I noticed, which kind of worries me a bit is the fact that this is metal and you have the aluminum plate 
and it's pretty much directly screwed into the metal frame, which pretty much touches everything. And the fact that this is a heat bed, I'm kind of worried that it might short out at some point. I don't know exactly if it's going to be earthed in any particular way that would prevent it, but the fact that there was the issue with the um, the Wanhao Duplicator i3 Plus about a year ago, this worries me a bit. So, um, unfortunately, I cannot do anything else because, well, I cannot attach the actual hot end because the effector arm doesn't have the threaded holes to put the screws in to attach it to the printer. Unless I print what I'm guessing uh, an effector arm, a whole effector arm, or get this machined, this is not going to work. That pretty much ends my journey with the ANET A4. I was actually, I was really excited for this, but this is extremely, extremely disappointing and kind of frustrating. And it bugs me because this is not a working printer. I kind of don't care if it switches on, but you cannot put it together. It's, it, it, it's sad because it's not that much of a complicated build. It took me about 45 minutes to get to here and I don't have much left to do except attach the effector arm. But now I cannot do anything else and it just, it's not a working printer. So I don't even know why it's being sold because the QA, the quality checks on this do not even exist and this shouldn't be sold. So make yourself a favor. Don't buy this until you are sure that this has been fixed. That is it for me, guys. Um, disclaimer, as always, Gearbus sent me this machine uh, free of charge for me to do an unbiased review. Unfortunately, I cannot do a review because the machine does not essentially do what it's meant to do. So yeah, um, no money has exchanged hands except me paying import duties for the machine that doesn't work. Um, and yeah. This is gonna go in a corner, maybe in the future. When this is fixed, I get a replacement, or maybe, possibly, I find the time to actually print a new effector arm. This could possibly work, maybe, I don't know. But in the meantime, yeah, um, no, don't. So that's pretty much it for my end. If you have any comments or questions or insults, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.